Greetings and blessings, guys, whenever and wherever, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I wanted to share with you a little bit out of Romans chapter 5, verses 9 through 11 that say, Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For it, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his Son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we must also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. We have been saved from God's wrath, his wrath of brimstone and fire and a eternal lake of hell. Because of the death and resurrection, and salvation made possible by the sacrifice of Christ. We no longer have to face an eternal death. A spiritual death. And this is one of the reasons why we give glory to God. Because if it were not for his ultimate plan. Then we would not be reconciled to him. And little Miss Molly back there. Say hello Molly Molly. Say hello. She's one of God's gifts. She didn't want to come around the other side. And. Oh, there she is. But as I was saying, we don't want to face God's wrath, you guys. That's why we preach salvation. That's why we desire to be saved. When we give out these messages, we don't want to just give out the good. We have to give out the bad. We have to give out the reminder that if we're not saved then we're without hope. If we are not saved when we die, then there is a chance. Then we are sure there's no more chances. Actually, we are certain that we will spend eternity in that fiery pit. So it's important that we keep this in mind, especially when we testify to others, because we don't want them to face that. Not our friends, not our family, not our loved ones, not even strangers. If we are true Christians, we will want everybody to know about the gift of God and the wrath that they are being saved from. So today, guys, I just want to pray to encourage us to remember the reason why we're preaching and teaching and the reason why we are overjoyed. Because we do not want to face the wrath of God. And dear Lord, I come to you today as a thankful servant, Lord. Thankful for your reminder that we must tell the bad along with the good, Lord. We are grateful, so thankful for your gifts and your grace, for your blessing and for your mercy, Lord. But because we are grateful for your salvation, Lord, we must warn others of the eternity in hell that is the opposite choice from choosing you. And Lord, put it on their hearts if it be their predestination, if it be in your will, Lord, if you know that they will choose you. Allow them to find that grace and mercy in their life that helps them to make that choice. And let them remember the possibility that they had been saved from, the eternal pit of hell that they no longer have to face. And Lord, I pray to encourage my brothers and sisters today that they could go forth and tell the message to others so that others can know for sure that they won't be cast into that lake of fire because they've heard your word and they've accepted your son and their name is written in your book of life. And in your name, I also ask and pray these things, Lord. We praise your name, Lord, and we say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. So guys, just remember today, there's heaven or hell. There's no other choice. Jesus is the only way to heaven because we're already going to hell if we haven't chosen him. And none of us want to face the wrath and the eternity in that lake of fire called hell. Tell your friends, tell your family. Make sure you pick this book up and read it. Get that prayer relationship going with God. Not only does he strengthen you and lift us and encourage us, the first thing that he does is he saves us from his wrath.
But as always, guys, and until next time, whenever and wherever, God bless.